Everyone calls me Galant, and I am a singer, and I, I write songs that I really like. Through that process, it helps me learn more about myself and move closer towards the goal of becoming a better human. The journey to get from you know, where I was maybe 10 years ago, it was very difficult, very volatile. It had me straying from my values, it had me finding them again, it had me questioning myself, questioning others. I, I went through a lot of transformations, I think. Gallant was somebody who you didn't look at and think immediately when he was at NYU, oh, that's a star. He's somebody who grew into that through hard work, through hustle, and just simply through a kind of, you know, will to succeed and drive. I approached it in a way that didn't lend itself to being shared at all. And when it was shared, you know, predictably, like my friends would be like, oh, this is, this is awful. Like just ob objectively bad, and it was. I remember some of his stuff. The first song I heard was, was terrible. It's horrible. I think me getting better was just a result of me constantly doing things in solitude. In terms of just like my voice, I don't even know what method I would have been following. Like it, it just, I, I was just doing it so often that certain things just ended up getting easier for me vocally. And I guess that could be looked at as like training in some sort, but I still would never look at it that way. No, 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 babe. Faults are on my own. Prove I'm more than skin and bones. Gallant was an incredibly hard worker. He was hungry, he was taking as many music classes as he could get his hands on, and he wanted to meet as many people as possible that could help him in his career and help him move forward. I tried moving to, to New York and um, it was cool for a while, but I just realized that this is just not my default. I don't feel like I'm learning anything about myself. I don't feel like I'm growing and I feel like I'm fighting to exist. You know, you're surrounded by all these people who are great creatives and have all these ambition, but their ambition is all rooted in like, I'm gonna be the next whatever. Like, it's just so whack, you know? But that was just the culture. And you know, they didn't like me and I didn't like them. I remember like my, my last straw was, everything was just not going well. And I got like a McFlurry or something. And I was like, all right, you know, this is good. Like, this is gonna be all right. <laughs> I went down to like the subway and then the wind just like took all the dirt and just like right into, into the McFlurry. You know, I, that, it was, that was it. I, I think that it was, you know, my will to really just move and to like actually finalize the process of moving from New York to LA. And I was actually back to what making music felt like to me when I was first doing it. I was working with Jake at the time uh, on Corella and Zoo, and we got a call one night from David Dan, and he said, you guys have to hear this artist named Glant. He's incredible. And uh, Jake and I took a listen, and Jake was like, I'm gonna go down to the bootleg to check it out. Do you wanna come? The second he opened his mouth, it was one of the most beautiful things I had ever heard. From that moment, from that first note, I made it my mission to make sure that his voice was gonna be heard by the largest amount of people possible at all times. We released our first record about a year ago to think that, that he would be booked for Coachella. Meanwhile, in the set time that he's in, it's gonna be just an absolutely incredibly special moment. Being at Coachella, in the first place, since I, you know, I'm just on super low key, I don't go to festivals, so to be there around that energy was crazy. And then I would just realize, like, wait a second, like, that, like that's me, and then that's Seal. Okay, this is my hero, and I'm just now okay to stand next to him without shaking uncontrollably, but it was such a turning point for me, because I realized that I'm sharing the stage with somebody who wants to be there that inspired me, that is supporting me, and I'm so undeserving of any of that. There's so much happening. He's gotten co-signed from Elton John. 
toured with Sufjan Stevens, performing at Coachella and having Seal join him. In his reactions, he's very mellow. But I think inside, it's like, wow. It feels very, very early to me, for sure. It feels like uh, the beginning of starting to uh, dive deeper into some other subset of madness that I've never experienced before. I do feel like I'm naturally moving towards, you know, some kind of evolution that's gonna make me just a better human. But I say it just because it's true. You know, it really, that is all I'm thinking about and that's all that I've been thinking about for, um, you know, 10, 12 years now. Do you know an uncharted musician whose music deserves to be shared with the world? Email artists at whoisuncharted 